So we're walking down in the lobby, me and Ali, two other guys. So people run up to him. Oh, Muhammad, Muhammad, got an autograph. So we had to go somewhere. Ali sat there. He asked the guy, would you please bring me a chair and a table? And we're in the lobby at the hotel. Hey, he, they brought him a chair and a, and a table and a pen that don't run out of ink. He must have signed about 2,000 autographs right there. He sat down because he knew it was going to be crazy. I never forgot that. I've, I've had so many times, great times with him, man. Don't you get pissed off though, knowing Ray, they, they want your autograph too, or were you like... Yeah. No, I wasn't even a contender. I was a pretender then. <laughs> Ali signed 2,000, you signed two autographs. I signed two. <laughs> That's it. What is it that he had and did? We just said something did, but there are fighters or other athletes in different sports and they don't get. But he's transcended his sport. He took his sport to another level by him refusing induction into the armed forces because, number one, they knew he was right. We had no business in Vietnam, for what? They never did nothing to us. Why should we go over there and kill them? For what? At least stood up for that. You know, that's the whole key. So besides just being in the ring, it was all the outside stuff, the, the political stance? All the outside stuff, and it's what he stood for. You know, I've seen Ali, give, he could have a million dollars in his pocket, he'd walk around the street and give it away. Yeah. Ali was like that, man. Good dude.